If you're like most people, your only use of magnets consists of placing them on the refrigerator door. But as we hear from Erica Engelson, scientists are cultivating new uses for the world's most powerful magnets. Imagine if your plants and vegetables could germinate twice as fast as they do now. This could soon become reality, thanks to the research of engineering professor Dr. Ching Jen Chen, who has been conducting research to determine the effects of powerful magnets on plant life, and has found that they dramatically affect the speed of plant growth. Using a 1.5 Tesla magnet, Chen exposed plant and vegetable seeds at different time intervals. Seeds were then planted, and after several days, Chen found that the seeds exposed to the magnets grew more rapidly than those not exposed. It's just very obvious that they are growing twice, three times faster than uh, those non-exposure ones. We can look at the fruit industry, we can look at the flower industry, we can look at the vegetable industry, and uh, most of all, probably the herb for medical application, which can be very expensive, very slow growing, such as the ginseng and the other, other herb. So we what you're about to witness is a perfect example of the consciousness of today's children. I want you to take a look at what this kid says, how he says it, and what he does with the crystals. Take a look. The purpose of this is that the dark energy that's around us will go to waste, like go away. So how exactly did you know to come up with this web formation? I knew it because these rocks, they know exactly how to dispose dark energy, heal people, keep dark energy away, and everything that you can possibly think of. So, so it, they know it. How did you know it? They told me. How did they tell you? You see, um, the vi vibration on it and also the keys on it. I go to one rock, any kind, and put my finger on it. Aha. And then I put it up to my ear and then I hear what it's saying. What's a key? A key is like a part of a rock that all every rock has it that is the energy key point of it so you can unlock the energy of it cool but when you do that and you just put it up to your ear you can hear exactly what it's saying said Air, a bumblebee can't fly aerodynamically. And I said, well, what did bumblebees do? And they said, well, they levitate. The bumblebee, when he starts to beat his wings, when he starts to flap his wings, there's a little cavity, a hollow cavity next to the larynx inside his, his system that's hollow. 
And when he beats his wings, he starts to resonate this energy, and it goes back and forth, just similar to, um, to a guitar strumming on one side of the room and hitting the same chord on the other side of the room, or uh, somebody hitting a high C and breaking a crystal. It's the same thing. It's resonance. And he said, what they do, they resonate. And when they resonate, they eventually reach the resonance of the field around them. The earth was, of course, spinning, but it was, it was operating on a frequency of 8.5 hertz per second or so forth. And he says, once this bumblebee hits that resonant frequency of its surroundings, it becomes a free agent. It creates a magnetic bubble around itself, and it can go anywhere it wants. <laughs>